The book Memoirs of a Jewish Extremist by award-winning author Yossi Klein Halevi is now being reissued in paperback. The senior Hartman Institute fellow recently expressed his concern that Jewish extremism is now infecting Israeli society to IBA's Eli Wogelenter. Look, the circumstances in which I became a Jewish extremist uh, in my teen years, in the late 1960s, early 70s, were very different than the circumstances today. I grew up in a Holocaust survivor family in Brooklyn. We were barely decades away from, uh, from the Shoah. Uh, it was the time of the Soviet Jewry movement. It was the 60s in America. It was the Black, black Power movement, the New Left. And this was our equivalent. This was our expression of the, the, what I would call, the, in a way, the ecstasy of rage that was taking over the streets in America. Exemplified years. by Mayor Kahana. And Mayor Kahana comes along, the, the founder of the Jewish Defense League, and, and gave voice to all of that frustrated post-Holocaust rage of my generation. What we're seeing erupt in Israel today worries me deeply because I recognize it. When I look at the kids, Jewish kids in Jerusalem, shouting death to the Arabs, uh, when I see the, the outbreak of, of the far right in Israel, that sense of self-referential obsessive rage where all you can see is your own pain and you're not capable of any empathy, that's what defines the extremist persona. And we're seeing the eruption of that happen in Israel today. What's the cause of it? The cause, uh, th there are several causes. First of all, my generation of Israelis, the generation, let's say, that came of age in the 1980s, I moved to Israel in 1982, joined the army in, during the first intifada. My generation produced what we can call the guilty Israeli. The Israeli who felt that we weren't offering the Palestinians a, uh, a deal, uh, all we were offering were more settlements and occupation. Uh, the generation of Israeli kids who grew up, my children, their friends who grew up with the Second Intifada are not guilty Israelis. They grew up after Israel tried to make peace with the Palestinians and got back four years of suicide bombings, after we withdrew from Gaza and got back 10 years of, uh, of rockets on our cities. And so these kids are growing up with a great deal of understandable anger. Where that understandable anger becomes dangerous is when it spills over into undifferentiated rage against all Arabs, all Arab residents of Jerusalem, Arab citizens of Israel. There have been repeated physical attacks, violence against Arabs in this city, and the burning of a 16-year-old Arab boy this past summer is something that haunts me all the time. But it was done by someone who was deemed to be not fully mentally capable. With, with assistance. He didn't do it alone. And the next day, after the burning was, uh, was, was revealed, I was walking in downtown Jerusalem, and I came across a group of young Jews in Kikar Tzion, in Zion Square, and they had set up memorial candles for the three Jewish boys who'd been kidnapped and killed. And the memorial candles formed the words Mavet la'aravim, death to the Arabs. Now, this is the day after a, um, an Arab boy is burned. So, for me, there was a double shock. First, the shock that this could have happened at all, that Jews could have been capable of this. And secondly, that many Jews apparently were not necessarily shocked, didn't necessarily share that revulsion. And what worries me as a... Um, as a recovering Jewish extremist, if I can put it that way, uh, is, is that these, the, the depths of Jewish rage when, when are so profound that when they are unleashed, it is a danger to Israeli democracy, to Israeli society. Israeli